What up, Red Ace fans? Welcome to another edition of The Brew Review. I'm your host, Red Ace, Red Ace Productions, and this episode is brought to you by the Spider-Man hip-hop beat that I have made on YouTube. I know I'm wearing a Batman shirt. Surprise, motherfucker. If you like this video, please check out the Red Ace YouTube channel. You can actually check out the Spider-Man hip-hop beat, or you can actually click the link down below. That's what the information's for. Click the link. Let me know if you guys like it or whatnot. Anyways, let's get this whole thing started. I picked King Cobra for this episode. Somebody told me to get it. Um, already, from what I can see, it says 25 ounce, the big one. And um, the only cans I've seen that, that have this label, this red label, are Budweiser. No shit, Sherlock. So you know me, gotta have my trusty mug because this is a can, we don't really need a bottle opener. Uh, so, let's crack it open. Now, you tilt the cup, and I know people are saying, no, you don't need to tell me to tilt the cup, you already know, I already know. But you'll be surprised, I went to a cake party, people are holding their cup straight up, like it's like they're pouring fucking soda, okay? No, tilt the fucking cup, you don't want that much head. Only head that, listen, gentlemen, only head that you should be having is from your lady, not from your beer. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can fit the whole 25 ounces. Because if not, you know me, I'll put it inside. That looks like a commercialized, like, headage. <laughs> uh, quick tip, though, for those people, um, too much head inside your beer. I know, a little perverted when I say it. <laughs> uh, the trick is uh, to actually um, rub your nose, because the oil in your nose, and just dip it in, swirl it in, like that, and it will actually dissolve. Let me see if I can put more. Some more in there. All right, uh, there's still a little left in here. I'm not gonna bullshit you. So I don't want you thinking that, uh, you know, I'm holding anything from you guys. All right, so let's do the taste test first. And how we're gonna rate the system for those newcomers, five bottles means it's good, like like excellent. My five bottles is the most. And as the bottles go down, you know, the worse it, ta the worse it gets. <laughs> Anyways, let's give it a taste. Like, you know what it is? I don't know. I remember King Cobra tasting a lot stronger. I, you could honestly, if King Cobra was bought out from Budweiser, Anheuser Busch, I should say, you could actually taste it because it kind of tastes a little watered down in comparison. Like, it tastes like it's been commercialized. Uh, the taste itself, not really fond of it, honestly. Let me, let me take one more time. Let me take one more, one more taste, one more taste. Set it down. Yeah, taste-wise, I'm not really fond of it. I mean, I don't know. It, it kind of has like that light beer taste, but it's not light beer. So it's kind of like, because um, you know when you have light beer, you like you try to count the carbs, count the calories. You want to lose that weight, but you got to deal with that shitty, watery taste. And you're like, well, at least I'm, you know, losing weight. Well, you're not really losing weight because this is a full malt liquor so i mean you're gaining weight <laughs> so taste wise itself i give it two bottles all right so getting to the design itself it has like the cobra symbol and all that kind of looks like gi joe perhaps too perfect honestly this looks like uh what was it global gym uh from dodgeball we are the global gym purple cobras and we will we will rock you Yeah, honestly, um, when it comes to design-wise, I mean, I, I give him credit. I'm not, I'm not gonna like knock him on it. I'll give him three. It's a mediocre, you know. Uh, it, it, you know what it is is that uh, I thought the original design for King Cobra was a lot better. You know, it kind of looked like a Texas rattlesnake, like a Steve, like like that Stone Cold Steve Austin kind of design. What? What? And uh, buzz value. Um, pick up the can again. I don't know why I keep putting it down. I would have learned my lesson from the first season. <laughs> uh, it actually says in the bottom right here, 6%. So that means it's like 0.1% more than like Bud Ice. So I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna be fair with it. I'm gonna be fair. Because I do like Bud Ice with the buzz uh, itself. So if there's anything like this, I'll give it a three. 
So I might get it again if there is no uh, no natural ice. I like natural ice, but I think I like natural ice it tastes better than uh, King Cobra because, like I said, this tastes really light, but it's not a light beer. It's misleading you. It's misleading you. So you you liar! All right. Um, I let a little bit. Let me see if I can pour the rest. Come on, come on, baby. Yes, yes. All right. Now is the time what makes this show more different than any other person besides all the comical relief that we put on the show, we chug our beer. And I say, right before I do it. Whoa, 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 what do you think you're doing? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jill Wolmer from DIA Productions. She's on the show, Dysfunctional Family. Actually, it's just dysfunctional. Oh, I'm sorry. I it's dysfunctional. I you know I thought it was dysfunctional family, like Adams family. The Adams family. So what brings you here? You were supposed to review us months ago. Episode three came out in March. What are you doing? I know, I know. I have not. Uh, let me. I gotta put my beard down just to explain this. Um, I had to take a break. I had to take a break from YouTube, I had to take a break from everybody. And I know, I know you probably missed me, I know everybody missed me. But I'm back, and I promise you that once I get a few brew reviews in, I'll get right to it. Uh, it's, you know, it hasn't been forgotten. <laughs> I just wanted to do something big, something epic. So, um, like I said, I'll let you know. It should be within the end of this month. Oh. Okay, well. Carry on. Oh, where are you going? Oh, come on, come on. Uh, at least say goodbye to the fans. Uh, wait, can we get it back? Can we get it back? Uh, all right, well, that was Dakota Walmer, everybody. And also check out DIA Productions. They're doing some cool stuff over there. Right now, they're doing live videos, which Red Ace Productions, which I heard we might be doing starting next week or the week after, depending. But we do have the technology. We have the technology. I don't want to spend a lot of money. All right, so uh, before I was, I'm not gonna say really interrupted, you know, she did, you know, have a point. You know, I kind of procrastinated on uh, what I was supposed to do. Always do your task, everybody. Here we go, I got this beer waiting. All right, so for every single person that's checked this video out, I thank you guys so much. If you have any brew that you want me to review, let me know down in the comment. There's nothing that I won't try when it comes to alcohol-wise anyways, and just let me know. Anyways, I'm gonna chug this beer and I'm gonna head out. Thank you guys so much again, but from the past, in the present, and for the future, keep it brutal, guys. Let's see if I can chug this.